Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of His Man 3, episode 5 and 6 recap. We had such a great experience having David on the show with us last week that we've invited another guest for this week to recap the show. A big fan of His Man 3. Uh, let's bring him in! Yeah, say, uh... Now, what do you do for... So what do you do... What's your background? What's your background? I know everyone is disappointed that it's like, oh, it's, it's back to these back two. Back to fruits. these two. It's the life, divas. It is what it is. I don't it know. It is what it is. I'll tell you. But we had such a great time with Dabit last episode. We had such a great time with Dabit. Um, we know our video was, uh, let's say, 20 frames per second less than his. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I have since fixed that. And so if we ever have Dabit back, it will be smooth, smooth as butter. Mmm, butter. Um, we did post our vlog, so there were people asking, just quickly, can you actually talk about what it was like to meet? To be in the presence to be in of the such presence legends. Of such legends as Sanu. Sanu. Hyungjun. Hyungjun. And Jung. Um, it's fine. They're just people. It's fine. They're just people, <laughs> especially because we don't speak Korean. So it was okay. So the T uh, is that, and it, da, I don't think David knows this either. But David uh, picked me and RJ up from the airport uh-huh. when we arrived because he was very generous and was like, "I I don't live terribly far, mm-hmm. so I'm happy to pick you up and we can hang out the night mm-hmm. you come in." So he picked us up from the airport, and until yeah. this point, I knew this was happening. But I was like, oh, it's not real. Or I didn't want to get my expectations up. I'm nervous. I'm excited. But also, if it doesn't, I also want to cool. put too much stock in it. So and I want to feel cool. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So he pulled up and got out of the car. And Adam was uh, like, let me put the cart back. Uh, we had like two carts with all our luggage. And so I was putting the carts back and I was like crying. Bawling. Because I was like so happy nervous excited yeah and then i was very chill and rj made me sit in the front seat and i was very normal yeah (laughs) he was very sweet he we went to bhc had some some great chicken chicken. Mm -hmm. to this day that was still your favorite bhc was still your favorite chicken out of all the chicken places we went to yes david made me made us our first americanos in korea yes that's where we met kano that's where we met kano and then he took us to Melted the next day, got to meet Sanu. We really didn't talk to Sanu because he's... He's working. He's, he's working busy. and, it's, you know, he's speaking Kore- he, we don't speak Korean. But uh, We were not going to put David we in a situation where, in a situation. where he had to translate. But it was us. kind of a slay, David, just being like, yeah, these are my friends from America. I'm like, because <laughs> I don't know if he's going to go in and be like, do you remember those two? No, <laughs> I sent them one time in our group chat like a year ago. No, nobody's going to remember. Yeah. It's fine. Because apparently they did talk. He was like, he had shared us to their group chat. I think specifically the clip of us gua shying like Min Song. Oh, that sure. was the specific one that they were like, "Kika, kika, kika." What are they saying? <laughs> and we met Hyungjun's bar too. We went to Hyungjun's bar. Truly, highly recommend. Like super easily accessible. The drag queens are great. No cover for us. No cover for us because we knew the owner. It. <laughs> it was very fun because we were about to pay, and then Hyungjun came up and was like, "Just give him the wristband. Just let him go." <laughs> it was really fun. The drag queens were great. Uh, we met Jivan. Mm-hmm. She was super friendly. It was so funny. She kept teasing David the entire time, calling him Oppa. I thought that was so funny. She said a few other things she that I will not repeat. NSF, not NSFW, mm-hmm. but it was funny. And we were all having a good laugh. Good kiki together. Good kiki. Mm-hmm. There was another queen that we met that like grew up in Arizona. And I was like, oh, oh my yes. God. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Yeah. They like performing songs that are live so they're lip syncing as if they're sing like like with a microphone yes they're not lip syncing to the studio to recording like they're lip syncing to, to the like live, live performance performances audio. which i was like oh yeah it's kind of love it yeah and uh yeah no the show was great they were mm-hmm. great we had a really great time a girl passed out a girl guy this was iconic a girl fully passed out and fell f- Face. That was when I felt like I was like, oh, this is the soul experience. Yeah. Because you could tell they had been drinking. Oh. And lot. we were there? And we were there What was early. that, the midnight show, right? <laughs> yeah. We were early. there early. We were there at like 10. We did. We were like the, the third f- people to walk in. 
It was really And there was like a party of girls that all knew Dabe, like, because they were also fans of the show, and they kept buying Dabe and us, like, drinks and food. Remember they bought us, like, an appetizer yes. plate? And we were like, yes. oh, thank yeah, you. That I would couldn't stop eating. Yeah. yeah. So, we had a great time. We had a great time. Yeah. And now we have more places to add to our roster. We have We've a crawfle shop. shop. Somewhere. Somewhere. To to hit up. Yeah. I think that was That's it. <laughs> That's the only one. That's really it. The hospital that Hanman works HR in, you know? Yeah. Go go admit myself for yeah. a, a little talk, a little procedure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, enough of that. Let's okay. talk about the, the episode. Let's talk about episodes five and six of His Man 3. So, uh, episode five... Uh, we're waking up. It's day three. Uh, Myung Yoon falls off the bed immediately as soon as his alarm goes off. Goofy guy. I actually thought people were going to be like, I don't see the himbo from no. when we said it last week. No, it's very clear. It's very clear. And I think mo- pretty much everyone's like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Fair assessment. <laughs> yeah. Um, just not a lot. The light bulb upstairs is like, it's an Edison bulb. Do you know what I'm saying? It's pretty. It's it's not like I wouldn't call it like egress light levels, you know. Like if there was an I like <laughs> the fire department would be like, we gotta up the foot the foot candles on this. It's not proper egress. Who is lighting. this? Who is the joke for? But <laughs> who in our audience is like, ah, ha, ha, ha. oh yes, uh, finally, finally, some s- egress path lighting <laughs> comedy. I've been waiting my whole life. Finally, giving right. like 2014. Uh, Everyone had restaurant Edison. hipster restaurant with Edison bulbs that are Industrial like dim. They demon. look really cool, but like, yes. where's the light? Where's the light? Yeah, I still need to turn on my flashlight, flashlight to, read to the see menu. the menu. <laughs> Luckily, we don't have to do that anymore because menus are on our phones. And QR codes. His QR codes. I'm with the boomers on this one. We need to go back to menus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not the same. Because. Or imagine- if you're going to make it digital, then I should be able to order it Digitally. from the lap. Yes. The, the, like like an o- and do an online tab. Yeah. And then it can just close out. Yes. Because you don't want to be sitting in a patio of a Mexican restaurant with a dead zone and no one getting your order because you couldn't load the QR code. And they're like, what do you want? And it's like, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. I mean, I can assume I'm at a Mexican restaurant. I can assume what you have, but I'd still love to look at a menu. Yeah. Myung Hyun takes the first shower because he had promised that he was going to help prepare breakfast with Jason. Yes. He had woken up late, so he like jumps in the shower really quickly. Even though the previous night, they Young had all and agreed. Young had decided that Young, Young Jun was going to be the first, first one, one to, to take shower. a shower. Meanwhile, Young Jun's in the shower, and, and the water, the water turns off. off. Why? There's no explanation. There's no resolution. I thought this was crazy. There was a moment where I thought that they were going to have to move to a hotel, <gasps> or like something happened in the, the show was going to have show. to like. Like production is going to have to figure it out, and yeah. I was like, "Whoa, this is crazy!" Yeah. And then it comes on like forty five minutes uh, yeah. later. Yeah, even though Young Jun ha- apparently was covered in like fully body soaked, wash. yeah, and then it and turned off, to- so he couldn't like rinse off. But he had the door open, like talking to everyone else, and they had to like. I think they just censored like his stomach, his little tummy, his little tummy. Mm-hmm. But Hanmin is like. <laughs> On the other side, just like. You need help in there? So funny. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. Jason woke up on the wrong side of the damn bed. Oh, yeah. He's making these crop because everyone found out he has a crawfish shop. So he's like, well, I'll make breakfast. Looks a mess. Hair's a mess. Yeah. Has not washed his face. Water gets cut off. Can't make the food. He's just grumpy it's diva. Not, it's not Myung well. his helper didn't come down. Yeah. Grumpy diva. A mission mission cards are put out onto the coffee table. Young Jun takes the first one. This is the heart and arrow mission. Yes. So there are six first cards. Come, first serve. Three cards are arrows, three cards are hearts. Arrows are allowed to ask the hearts on dates. Mm-hmm. There are eight boys in this house. There are eight boys in the house. But only six cards. So there is two people that are not gonna be going on a date today. 
Although they end up just they end up at doing home. it. They film a house, yeah. a home date. Young Jun gets a heart. Hanmin gets an arrow. Already paired. Already, it's paired. They were like, they basically right away were like, "Well, let's go on." Min San gets a heart. Sung Jin gets an arrow. Song Min gets a heart, and Myung Kyun gets an arrow. So Sung Jin asks Song Min, and Myung Kyun asks Min San. Well, Jason didn't get a card because he was like, well, there's six cards, right? So yeah, let me there's just finish guys. what's making. Yeah. And Youngjin was like, there's eight of us. Yeah. He was like, so he runs. And as soon as he runs, Myungkin's picking up the last one. Like, yeah. oh, Sung Jin has a arrow. arrow. Mm-hmm. But he's trying to figure out who else, who he can ask. This was the weird part. Why don't you just ask, hey, what card did you get? No one did that. Yeah. He just assumed. It wasn't a secret. He, was, he just assumed anyone who got a text, quote unquote, means that they got an arrow card. Right. Because then they get a text that the arrow people the arrow, got a text that arrows, is like, now you can an- ask the people who got the heart yeah. on the date. Yeah. So he just assumed like, oh, Jason got a heart, uh, uh, a text. So he's an arrow. He just actually just got a text. He got a spam text. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Sung Jin you know I mean? is going through it in these two he episodes. Is, he is, he yeah, is. yeah. So um, they all pair off on their dates. The two staying home are Jason and Hui. So Hanmin and Young Jun go on their date together. They go on a ring making date. So they give each other couple rings. And Hanmin was like, it might feel like a burden someday. He keeps bringing it up over and over mm-hmm. again. Like the car ride there, like you might feel burden, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But both hit it off and they're very much flirting they're very flirty of course i would love the gag of young jun and myung kyun getting together absolutely i think that feels like what the show is building Trying towards to do. yeah because of the way they keep dropping the breadcrumbs so i wouldn't be surprised if that's what happens yeah but i do think hanmin and young jun have like have a little, chemistry have sure. a little bit of chemistry yeah. i don't think there's palpable chemistry like there really was i would say really between like jun song last year Mm -hmm. or like hyung jun and um min song -Song last year either but those were later when i felt like the chemistry really started like hitting it off so hanmin is very cute i think he's starting to like his personality is starting to kind of show now Mm -hmm. he he reads very much like a guy who grew up not in the city. There's something very, very charming about it. He seems like very, um, but very genuine. Like he, go- he's person next door. Yes, girl next door. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he um, feels to me. And he, uh, he's very direct, but then like, will do the hui thing of like be shy immediately after do- doing or saying something. Yes, but he will. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Can we talk about how Young June is just like going for it? And Young Jun like does the like they compare hand sizes uh-huh. like it's like it's Tarzan. Yeah. Uh he is he aggressive. Is, not aggressive, but he's It is so not game. aggressive, but he's very game for the show. Yeah. Whatever the show is asking him to do, he is like, then let's make television, baby. Which makes me worried because we know there's a fight that's gonna come. But he does feel At some like point, yeah. He feels like he's like on the edge or like he feels like he's he's always a hundred percent. So it could go either way. It could go up or crash. Do you mm. know what I mean? The reason he was saying it was burdensome, by the way, the rings, was because he was like, It's this is a normal date for like hetero couples, but not gay not couples gay to couples, do yeah. a date like this. So that's why it might feel a little weird for us. And I was like, Oh, it's it's fascinating when this show, and I do appreciate it, this show yeah. doesn't, like, pretend that they aren't It's normal. Gay. Yeah, like, it's like, every, yeah, what we're doing like is... Like, we're just guys we're palling just gay. around. Yeah. yeah, they're like... No, it, gay experience is specific. To even call out heterosexuality specifically by name, I thought I yeah. was like, oh, there's like a... <gasps> oh, God. So then they go to a cafe afterward. They have a little conversation about like who got a call yesterday. Mm-hmm. And Hanmin reveals that he got a call from Young Kyun. And Young Jun is like, are you fucking kidding? 
Every time I turn Every around, time we're, I turn around we're talking he's, about Myungkyun. He keeps Myung coming Kyun up. Myungkyun that. It's so <laughs> enemies to lovers. It is so, so enemies to so lovers. Clear. It's crazy. They're so, it's like, uh, everywhere like, I go, all of a sudden Why are they there. enemies? This is like the craziest part. Is like, there's some explanation that there's history. Yeah. And fans have deduced other things, like the TikToks and the whatever. Right. But there is something that, we, something do that we do not know, know yet. That I think they're gonna. I hope they because you don't have they this. Can't just you don't have it. this. If you tension had the situationship with someone and you were like, oh, it kind of fell apart because it felt like they weren't really into me, and they both felt that about the opposite person. I then still you don't can think you do the show and be like, oh yeah, maybe we dated, but like we didn't feel anything, so right. I feel okay. They're like mad at they're each. They're mad other. at each other for no reason. But it's I mean, not, there is a reason. They're not angry no they're like and an, it's annoyed it, they're annoyed it's, at the other it's person it's like in exchange three whenever they would talk about like feeling jealousy they would all caption being like oh yeah. it's annoying watching you do this or whatever because i think of like Nan and hyungyu from exchange two where they like the, where they were the exes that came and fully were like there's nothing in i we're like we're just friends because we yes. we tried dating and it was like fine we were better friends mm -hmm. there's not i don't need friendship from from these two no. but there's, it's definitely not just like, well, we're indifferent towards one another. Yeah. Because even throughout the episode, Myunggyun is like, I don't understand why he likes Hanmin so much. Hanmin's not his type. I'm more like his type. He's so mad about it. Yeah. He's like doing it like he's like, he's being really disingenuous on the show, pretending like he likes this guy when clearly the I'm the, I'm I'm the closest to I, his ideal type. And it's like, oh, diva. Okay, girl. So is that why funny. you're in the show? What's going on? But would they know? I don't they think they know knew. Going in. But they would have been have to be okay with the possibility of it. I don't think they. I don't think they you told think them they that. I don't think they told them this. We should have asked Abbott last week. We should have asked Abbott. Do they say? Because is there a question like if you saw someone that you may have either dated or the whatever, people on are the you show okay have no that? power when right. they're signing these contracts of like being on the show. It's not like they get a clause where they're like, I get to have a right to say no based on whatever. You know what I mean? But w is there a line in the contract that's like, you can't leave if you realize someone is no, an ex or you, whatever? No, because you can't. I mean, they're, you're, you can leave no matter what. People mm -hmm. can just leave. People can just be like, I can't do this. Yeah. I, can't, I don't belong here. I don't belong here. I don't belong here. At the Namjajib. Is that right? Man's the man, man the man house. Mm. The man, the man house. house. Uh Jason and Hui are exercising together. They they've decided that that's how they're gonna spend their time together today. He's like, well, let me just give you a private a personal PT. personal uh training session. Um this was hot. This was hot. This, this was, was hot. relevatory what am I? for me. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. It was hot. Period. Foam rolling. Which I hate doing. I love foam rolling. Um, it hurts. So Jason good. like touching, teaching, Hui. teaching him how to squat. So he's like teaching oh, him how to the squat. Straight. Keep the straight. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me in the eyes as we go down together. So this was the the hottest part about it was how soft Jason's voice was because he was fully yes. just like, "Yep, just keep doing that." Yes, just. That's it. Just keep make sure your back is straight. Just very attentive. A hundred percent. In a physically rigorous. I activity. thought the hottest for me was when <sighs> we was like curl doing curls or whatever, and Jason was like touching his arms to like mm -hmm. see how strong he was. I was like ah, and then he like complimented Hui's arms, and I was like I if I. My personal trainer that I have is um very straight. Even my trainer now, if he like started touching my arm while I was doing something and being like, you're doing a really good job, I would probably have to be like, I need to leave. Goodbye. I don't good. I don't do well with skinship. I don't do well with skinship. Because what are you? Pro what are you promising at that? I mean, like you're touching me. Yeah. We're getting well, that's, married. That's the thing with Jason. He's doing it to flirt, too. That's his way to flirt. So he's yeah. clearly flirting with Hui. They had both said to each other, they're each other's well, second choice. Okay. Okay. We'll There's a lot. There, we'll talk this. about this. Then they hang out to the pool afterward. 
They shoot ducks mm-hmm. together. They're having like a really, really good time. Cute, yes, Jason is like, oh, I really like his smile. And then they start to make tanghulu. Uh-huh. That's where we leave them. We go to the next day, which is Songmin and Sunjin. And they just go to a cafe and have like a really serious chat about like how they're feeling on the show. I think they made candles is what they alluded to when they get home, but they didn't. But I don't oh. think anything happened. Yeah, nothing <laughs> I think they, was, they, they genuinely just made candles. So they didn't even show it. Mm-hmm. That's wild. So yeah, they just have a conversation about how they're feeling on the show. And especially like Sungjin, I think, is having a harder time. Hard time. He's saying like he wishes... You know, he's so young. He's the youngest one on the show. There's definitely an age gap, so it's hard. He does reveal that he likes Jason, but he's not like... He's just the one that he's the most into, but it's not like if they were out in the world, necessarily, that would be the one he would like go for or something like that. But there is some tension that Songmin describes with, like, Hui's age, too. Like, he's kind of like, oh, I was fine until he revealed he was 22. It's a whole thing. Do we think that they should just not cast young people on the show? I think they should wait till the age reveal is much later. It definitely felt really early. Because even in exchange, even though it's a longer show, they wait until at least some relationships are formed. Have started percolating. That the age just kind of like justifies like, oh, I feel... I'm trying to remember what... I guess this is when they revealed it last year too. Like the second week. But that second week had three episodes. So I think that's why Yeah. it was later because they did I mean, it. I understand it's a seven day shoot, but I would still I would hold off. I, I would really still would still do off. like day four. Or probably. split it up, do jobs first, then ages. Yeah. Because that's how other dating shows will do it too. Yeah. The problem is is that so many of them want someone older. I know. It like matters. I know. Yeah. Cause I think but I think they also like the gag of like one has to be the oldest, one has to be the youngest. It like, is hard. A wide gap. It is hard that Sung Jin is the youngest and he's the one who's most alternative Yeah, in his lifestyle, I guess. So he uh, feels the most singled out already. Yeah. Maybe that shouldn't be what we go for. Maybe it's like one person is the youngest and one person is yeah. like, you know what I mean? Um. So yeah, the date's fine, but it's not a date. It's very it's much. It's a mentorship talk. It's a one to one. It's a one. It's a yeah. It's a catching up. It's a coaching. It's session. a coaching session for sure. Yeah. But it is very nice to like see them like connect, and yeah. I think that is like what what is also really enjoyable about watching the show is like if you're if you don't have like a set group of like gay friends, it the is show makes it- just in general. I th- and not even like gay, but I think in like adulthood, it's like harder to just make friends in yeah, general. Totally. So it is very nice to see like them connect and like try to meet people and like yeah. form friendships and blah blah blah. And I think Sungjin is doing a really good job of like being Miss Congeniality of the season so totally. far. Because also Sungjin is probably the funniest person there. Yeah, Myungyun is funny, but he's like goofy funny. Yes. Sungjin is like witty. Witty. Yeah. 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 The other thing that happens back at the man's house with Jason and Hui is they like have lunch or they have snacks together, whatever they're eating. They're having a good time. And then, and Hui has been very cagey about revealing who his main interest is. Has been. Jason has said his main interest is Songmin, but he doesn't realize that Hui likes Songmin. Mm-hmm. Which I don't we know why being like, didn't see it's this. so obvious, it's Diva. It's so obvious. I feel like even if I was there. It's so obvious to the point that when they go out on the date later in episode six, everyone turns, turns to Wee and, and is like, like it's oh okay. no, it's okay, you'll be <laughs> no. okay. And I was like, Jason, Jason, girl. But I also think Jason keeps retreating. Like he keeps going back to his room. Well, so and does like, we. Yes, but Jason does not have a roommate. Yeah. They're like having this chat and then finally he Hui basically explains that his like main interest is Songmin and then there's like a chill in the air. Both realize that they are they're in are competition. In competition that they are rivals. The love triangle has officially begun. I want to say this though about this love triangle. Uh-huh. 
They all like each other. They all like each other. They all like each other. The three, tri- the triangle is all. Normally a love triangle because we are so used to heterosexual media. Elizabeth is Bennett. One- not a love triangle. Oh, really? But no. <laughs> what am I thinking of? Anyone I, else? I don't know. Um. Oh, I guess Wickham. Yeah. Is that who you meant? Yes. Oh, okay. That's not really. Okay. <laughs> okay. Austinista. <laughs> Um, it's, it's Meredith Grey, McDreamy, McDreamy, McDreamy. and McVet. Oh, oh yeah, McVet, yeah. McDreamy, McVet. The end of season two. Yes. That She's is standing the, there, they're both looking they're at both her. They're both looking at her. They're not interested in each other. Yeah. It's less, this is why triangle isn't really the right term. Yes. Because a triangle has three sides. It's a sides. fork in the road. It's really just, yeah, it's just a, it's, it's a, a TP. fork, yeah. Um, this they, is a love triangle. Yes, they all like each other. And maybe it's not equilateral. Uh-huh. Okay, we can say it's isosceles or scalene even. But <laughs> but they are all into each other to the point that I was like, I mean, there's an easy solution There's an easy here. solution. ¿Por qué no los dos? ¿Por qué no los dos? Um... Here's the crazy part. See. The chemistry between Jason and Hui during the home date was so hot. Yes. Like even even without the personal training, there is a there is They a, had more chemistry they than have more Myung-Kun chemistry and than Myung-Kun and Minsan. They have more I think they have more chemistry than Jason and Song Min. Min. Yeah. I think that date was like, well, I'll talk about that date, but yes. But I think like they, I, uh, I think Jason. Don't bounce in your seat while talking about these boys. Jason, I think Jason, I think Jason's chemistry is he's not connecting where the chemistry, where he has good chemistry with, with who he might actually be interested in. Mm. Because I do is think is he being too logical? I think so. Because mm. I think That's his chemistry with Hui, and even honestly, his date with Sungjin was like fun because they were like quippy and bantering, and he's able to like be playful with each other. So anyway, um, just consider polyamory in the future. <laughs> That's our note for the show. Uh, next episode, episode six, Myungkyun and Minsan. Uh, they go out on their date. Um, Minsan while they're on their drive out to uh, their date, which is they go to like a fragrance diffuser workshop. <laughs> I mean, we're really, there's so many things you can do on yeah. a date, apparently, that I would have never known. Minsan is like, they're talking about the calls yesterday, and, and Myungkyun is like, it was really nice that you called me, blah, blah, blah. And Minsan was like, yeah, I didn't get any calls yesterday. And then Myungkyun is like, oh, um, and Minsan feels bad because he's like, I wasn't saying it to like, to say anything. To say anything, I was just making conversation. But he feels bad. Blah blah. blah. Then they are at this thing. They talk about the types of flowers that each other are. Uh, I think um, Youngkyun calls. <laughs> Youngkyun says that uh, said Minsan is a pink rose because he likes roses or something like that. And there's something about the way. Listen, I'm not a flower girly, okay? But I'm not going to pick rose. rose. I'm not going to be like, my favorite flower is a rose. There's something about it that feels like it's that. like, okay, and is your favorite jewel a diamond? Like, yeah, yeah. okay, <laughs> congrats. I don't know. And your favorite color is blue. Hmm. <laughs> oh. To where I was like, it's a little basic. Mm. So I ask you, if you were a flower, what would you be? If I was a flower? If you were a flower, do not fucking say baby's breath. Why? Do not why? fucking <laughs> say baby's and breath. And why not? Because you're not. I'm just a little delicate wee thing. Um, I feel like I would be a um a tropical flower for sure. Maybe like a hyacinth or a Are they tropical? I thought they were. I don't know. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not a flower girl either. Mm. I do see myself as a lily. I do. I don't see you as the lily whatsoever at all, but really? I do see you as a sunflower. Oh. 
Or like a Gerber Daisy. What am I? You? Yes. A spring onion. <laughs> Bitch. A leek. <laughs> a potato that started to sprout. A potato that started to sprout. <laughs> and you're like, oh, God. I don't know if I can just cut that off, I think. <laughs> Wrong. I feel like I'm a tulip. Because my lips are so gorge. DSLs. <laughs> Well, this was fun. This date is perfectly fine, guys. Nothing you really You didn't ha- feel any chemistry. They were, like, talking a lot. They were getting to know one another. And Myungkin even was like, oh, I, li- I, I like him. I'm interested in him. But they're, it feels very comfortable. And they're not, like, flirting. No, it didn't feel like they it's were straightforward. flirting. But I can't tell if, like, maybe Myungkin doesn't, doesn't flirt. flirt. And Min-sun- maybe that's why... Young Jun uh, thought he wasn't he interested. He wasn't interested. He does a lot of like dad jokes, goofy jokes, and Min sure. laughs at every single one of yes. them. So I mean, like, maybe that's, oh, but also very... Min is like, <laughs> I, I mean, lo- that's my sister. I, I mean, love an is... easy laugher. Yeah. They're great for me. Yeah. Yeah. Girl, the way you tear up um, any sort of function with like white 40 year old women. Oh. They, they eat, eat up your job. Eat it oh up. my God. <laughs> yeah. That was us going to all of our vendor meetings for our wedding. Yes. And all the white women just like, oh my God. We had the same like three jokes we said every single time and they thought it was great. Did you think anything about this date? Not really. No. It feels filler. Honest, this is because they showed that teaser of Myungkyun and Youngjun fighting. I know. Everything feels like this is all filler before we get to that. What is happening? What happened there that made them do that? Yeah. To ultimately make them choose each other at the end. I mean, I I really think there is no other way that that... It also feels like uh, they, they make a decision at the end of this episode that we'll talk about, but they it seems like they're already... People are already starting to get too comfortable with one person. Yeah. So it's like they need to shake things they up. They need to shake things up. For sure. Because I am i can't... Seven weeks of just people being like, oh, and this is the one person. Like, that's... If it, like, last season, if Min Song hadn't had his whole, he like, couldn't decide debate the very between end. the two of them... There would have been no show for the back like three uh, yeah. three weeks because people are already Sungo were in. already like, well, <laughs> making out in a camper or whatever. Yeah. Everybody goes home. Um, Jason at the end of the day finds out that he gets a chance to invite a man for a secret date uh, because he got the most calls yesterday. Mm-hmm. So. He asks Songmin on a date in front of everyone. In front of at everyone the at the table. He literally stands up and goes, Songmin, would you go on a date with me? Let's he's go. like, huh, sure. And then they leave. They go on they the date. They just leave. Hui, Hui is, is a mess. <laughs> and know. everyone is like, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's so Hui cute. is so visibly upset to the point where I was like, okay, Diva, you're not married. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> my beloved, my betrothed. <laughs> has run off with another man <laughs> yes i wrote we commiserates his fate we is such a great character know, for this right? show I, I use character in just the terms of like for I, the show i, understand I don't he's real i keep thinking he is i do think we is the one that we should be like he's the audience surrogate yeah that he is the main I don't character. think he's the audience surrogate, but I do think he's the one. He's, he's the hero the most, of the show. He's the he's the one that they want you to follow the narrative of through the yeah. show. Even though Song Min ends up being like the mo- like he's the most popular this episode, right? Yes. It, and it's been different every episode. It's so been far. different every episode. Yeah. It feels so that Hui's storyline is like a guy who found quote unquote love and is just trying to like last you know what i mean like trying yeah. to to it's a little bit like what happened with june song june last song. Yeah. year yeah totally uh it's just a very different dynamic because they're very different people mm-hmm. but he is like it's v- the most charming thing about hui is whenever he like says his thing and then he's and then always he's, so shy and has to hide goes, his face it's so cute 
it's my favorite thing. I could I could watch like just a a, a clips, just clips of it. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there will be one at the end of the show. Young Jun and Myung Hyun. Oh, oh my, my god. god. They are just like fully being like, well, you know, when are we going to, I, w- I was going to bring it up today at dinner, but we didn't have dinner because the two people left. So blah, blah, blah. They were talking about when they're going to tell everyone. They're they talking know about when, when are they when going, to, are bring they it going up? to bring it up? Min Sun walks in. Young Hyuna still doesn't really think they need to. Yeah. You can tell. Because he's just like, oh, okay, oh, sure. sure. Whatever. But Young Chun is like, well, we're going to, we're going to do we it. Sure. Do blah, 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 blah. Min Sun walks in and he's fully just like, He's in the room, not being like tiptoeing around so they don't notice. Like he, it's very obvious that he's in the room, walking around, and they're and fully they just, just like keep having this keep conversation. Having the conversation. And Minzan has to be like, "What's going on?" <laughs> because they're like, "When are we going to tell everybody?" Blah blah blah. blah. And so that's when Minzan like interrupts. I my conspiracy theory is that Young Jun just wanted it out, so he just was like, "Perfect." Let me just say, I'm it out just loud. gonna keep talking. Yeah, because he was like, "Oh yeah, I mean, like we knew each other. That's pretty much it." So I guess it's not a big deal. So we'll just start telling everyone. Han Min comes in and he's like, "Yeah, we just knew each other." Blah blah blah. Before the show. Before the show, and Min Sun is like, "Well, how did you how know? How do e- you know each other? How do you know each other?" And we had to pause because it was like. Because they're gonna... L- because Young Jun was like, I wasn't prepared to answer this question. I was like, Diva, what are you talking about? It is the next logical question after, after you, you make this that. announcement. How did we not get to step two of the process, girl? Yeah, he was like, oh, well, I wanted to talk to Myung Kyun about that, but Min so just a- asked it right away. You huh? at no point have brought up in what are any we gonna conversation, tell people? What are we, what's the story, What's Diva? our story? Do, were we actually in a relationship first because of all because that is what they are avoiding because that's what they're avoiding they actually don't have an answer of they like, don't were know. we actually dating they have they no don't, clue they have no idea and that's and it all comes back it all comes back adam to that like no one's active yes i feel like yes and we're seeing a case study happen it these yes. were two people that were in at least, at the very least, a situation shift. Once again, the whole episode is all these people getting arrows and being like, oh, I wanted to be I the wish one I chosen. I wish I got a heart. Okay, well, if eight of you got hearts, no, <laughs> no one's one. <laughs> going on a date today, girl. Some of you have to actually make choices and decisions and be be your big boys and pull your yeah, big boy Jason pants on. Yeah, Jason even said, if I got in a card, I probably would have wished I got in a heart. Yes, he says this. And I was like, you've been the, you've most, been like, the most clearly like direct you on want the show. To go so- yeah. What are you doing, babes? Everyone wants to be... Everyone wants to be the girl in the K-drama. Nobody wants to be Opar. <laughs> they want to be yeah. looking up at their beloved. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. How wise. min Sun and Hanmin do say, like, I didn't notice. Yeah, I mean, But I, I guess- do think because Youngjun is so frantic that it makes sense yeah. kind of but i also think hanmin is kind of like i'm a choosing not to notice i also get that vibe from him i don't know what's gonna happen it's I very I'm really interesting scared. i'm not maybe i'm not, not scared. scared i'm ready for mess but like yeah. what <laughs> but i do feel like they are sowing the seeds to be like yep everyone has been too comfortable i think they are starting to think at this point day three like should i talk to other people yeah, it's it's weird because on one hand I do think like it's seven days, so like yeah. just pick someone really quickly and go for it. But on the other hand, like don't shut out all your prospects. Don't shut everyone out. Yeah. On exchange, we talked about how Sok Young like kept going on dates with everybody, and it felt like she was like just what oh, you, had the door who open do you for actually anybody. Want yeah, to yeah, get yeah. To and that was like annoying. Yeah. Or Kwangte even. Yeah. Earlier in the show. Um, so Jason and Songmin go on this date. They go to a little outdoor cafe in the evening with this great view behind them. It's very pretty. Um, and they have the most adult date I've ever. This was so boring in terms of like it was like there's a, no it was an interview going on. It there is like interview. a full like, and I do think this is a part of like dating in your thirties. There is a level of like I know who I am. I know who I am. This is what and I, I want. know what I want. So, like, let's talk about it and see if there's, mm-hmm. like, a, can we meet in the middle? We have a friend 
who is dating in their was like going on dates in their 30s and being like i want to have kids so i would like bring it up really early in our dates because like if that's it's some- a, if you don't want them that's fine that's fine i just don't want to like we don't want to get down a path together and then realize yeah. like you don't want kids i want kids blah blah, blah. that's like part of dating in your 30s yeah. it's like you, there's not that there's less time you're not like close no to but death, you have but plans already that like at correct. this point i i got this person yeah and it's fully like they both do agree that like because they're coming up they're like in their 30s or something something just turned 30 um that they are looking to date long term mm-hmm. like the person that they want to start dating is someone that they could see have a partnership with yes. they very specifically say partner, partner yes and not just like date to date yeah and then they and they don't mean the um the build up team partners they don't mean partners although no. Although those partners <laughs> still hot and heavy. Not hot and heavy. And then they start to get to know one another and they have nothing in common. <laughs> they have no <laughs> hobbies in common. Yes. They are in their day to day lives more opposites than complementary. Com- yeah. He likes to go to museums, like someone I know. In Jason, the show. yeah, like someone we know in the show. Jason, Jason falls asleep falls at museums, asleep. and he tries to be like, "It's just because it's not like I don't it's like." Not, um, it's because I look at it and I keep thinking about what am I supposed to feel, and then I fall asleep. fall asleep. So diva, you fall asleep at museums. So diva, just don't go to museums. Just, it's you, fine. You're not fine. And then they're like, "Do you like outdoor activities? Like, would you do like a bungee jump or whatever?" And he'd be like, "Yeah, I would probably do it once, like be able to do it." And someone was like, "Not I." <laughs> not I said the cat. <laughs> Absolutely not. Songmin is conflicted. Yes. Because I think the the fantasy was and I get it. The listen, fan- I, I listen, see him. I see it. I see mm-hmm. him. And I think that's why to me, Jason is so attractive because for some reason he's also very soft spoken. Yes. That it like takes me back. I'm like, oh, oh no, that's hot. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's very attractive. Yeah. Back at the house, Myung Kyun cuts his hand. There's a tending of the wound. The tending of the wound. Well, our first station of the cross back, honey. Well, technically, earlier in the episode, we had they played the in playing the in the water. Yes. Which is another station of the cross. By the way, for those of you just joining us, we have the idea of there are BL stations of the cross. There are things that all BLs have to hit in order to be a BL. And tending of the wound is... I was going to say it's not sacrilegious. It's definitely sacrilegious, but... I went to Catholic school. I wanted fine. to explain yeah. why. <laughs> and Sungjin... Oh, Sungjin is not... His Going self-esteem is, yeah. not, is not great right now. He's not gotten a single call. Nobody's asked him out on a date. He took Sungmin out on a date today, but it was very clearly like, but I don't, I don't want to ruffle any feathers, yeah. blah, blah, blah. He likes he Hanman. Likes, he thinks Hanman is like the closest ideal to his ideal type. And he, he likes Jason. Jason. But he doesn't want to like burden both him. those people already have found someone and he doesn't want to come in. Baby, you just gotta go for it. Yeah. You won't know until you try. No. No one's no one's married on this show. That's how I feel. Yeah. I don't think you need to be an asshole. And I don't and think I you don't need to like think, be even if he tried. I don't him. think he would be able to. Right. Because. But if you don't try, then you're you're just gonna have an experience on the show that is not that you won't that, that you you'll might regret. regret. You will mm-hmm. regret. And that's what Songmin says. Is like he he says there's one other person he's interested in on the show, and that's Hanmin, and uh, so he's like, I want to just make sure I go on all the. On one date with each person I'm interested in, or I will leave the show yeah. regretful. And I don't want to do that. So I think Sung Jin should do the also same do thing. Also do the same. Let's talk about these phone calls. We have three matching phone calls today. Young Jun Han Min, Min Sun Myung Kyun, and Hui and Song Min. All match. All match. And then Sa- uh, Sung Jin and Jae Sung both call Song Min. Yeah. Sung Jin is like, thank you for, thank you for today's, today, date. today's date. I had a good time. But he fully was like, I really want to call either Jason or Hanmin, but yeah, to 
He's too nervous. Too nervous. And Jason, obviously, like Songmin, but receives no calls. Songmin, Goes from three to zero. Songmin ultimately, on the because he makes the last call, he ultimately decides to call Hui because he is still way more compatible with Hui, in his belief, with, than Jason. And in my belief. In my belief. I agree. Yeah. It was just Obama. It was Obama. Because... They end the show showing Sung Jin and Jason not making a match when I think they ha- could have chemistry. I think they could have chemistry. I think Jason. I think Jason could have chemistry with most of these people. I think so I think too. he just like flirts really naturally. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I see it necessarily for the two of them, but I'd love to see at least a shot and attempt yeah. something. Um. Songman, I think choosing Hui is interesting and makes sense. And he says he decided it after him after and Jason's going the Jason. date. Yeah. Uh, so that's exciting. And Hui, as we've already said, is very cute when he gets like shy. Very. So he very like keeps cute. hiding it. Blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. It's very cute. I'm fine with Myung, uh, Young Jun and Han Min. Honestly, the everything else, the other four, I'm I just, just know waiting. it's gonna mess. I'm just gonna go. It's gonna mess mess up. So I'm yeah. just kind of waiting, especially since. Both Sung Jin and um, Song Min have said they would be interested in Han Min too. Yes. So it's like, okay, I don't think he's gonna. Yeah. And when and Han Min, when he called when Young he Jun, calls Young Jun, he was like, I don't remember what it specifically it's like, said. I you, we'll see how the ring turns out. Basically, if it'll be a couple ring or a friendship ring, but I just don't want you to like. I don't. But I had a good time today. Blah blah blah. And Young Jin was like, I don't even like that you brought up that it could be a friendship ring. Yeah. And Hanmin basically says, well, now I'm just thinking, like, I I don't want, maybe I shouldn't just go for one person. Yeah. So, it's sowing the seeds. And the other thing that's going to throw a fucking wrench oh into the equation. God. What do you think about these secret missions? Mm. I like that it's adding stuff to it, but I also just don't want to. Okay, here's the thing. I don't want it to take away from what naturally happens, but I think we've seen that what naturally happens is just a lot of people waiting. Yes, but none of this is naturally happening. Yeah, that's true. You're all you're stuck together with seven people you would not know outside in the real world in any way whatsoever. I do I think I like the secret missions. I think the secret missions are fine. I think they like I wish they felt more planned. They feel very contrived for what needs What's to happen going in the on? moment. Yeah. That's the only thing that yeah. I like am bummed by, but like I agree that something needs to happen. And we say it, in our reaction, we were I was like they have to mix these rooms up because we and Songmin keep, keep just barricading themselves in their I room know. and don't like go to hang out with people. Yeah. Nobody was like in the entertainment room today. No. And I don't know if it's just like isn't a and the, the smoke, vibe of the room and is the weird. And the smoker girls like Min San, Songjin and Hui. I I do think Hui and Songjin have a and nice Song friendship. And are like forming a friendship. It's very sweet. So it's very nice. But yeah, I, we literally said they need to switch up these rooms. And then right at the end, Song Min gets a text saying, because you got the most calls, you have to pick a new roommate. The rooms are getting mixed up. So he gets to pick who he's going to sleep with. And he picks Han Min. And based on the trailer for the next episode, oh, they show it right at the end. Hui is going. Hui is on the third floor. Hui is on the solo third floor. Jason Jason keeps keeps his room. Second floor solo room. And everyone else gets in the quad. So that's not only obviously affecting Songmin and Hui. They're split up, but also putting putting Sungjin in the quad room where he specifically was was like, I need to be by myself. Which could go either way, right? Like maybe that could help him get out of the funk of like yeah. you gotta try and yeah. connect with other people. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. It's weird that they threw Hui up to the third All floor. All the way up. Instead of just swapping those two. Because I think they want to see him spiral. <laughs> yeah. Not in like a malicious way. I mean they but put they they put them the furthest apart from, from each, each other. other. In a in a in a house. In a I house, mean, like they're still in the same. They house. all have to eat in the same place. Whatever. Right. Do you want to answer who are you calling or who are you rooting for? What pair are you rooting for the most? We'll do pair. Okay. I'm rooting for Hui and Songmin. I really am. Yeah. I th- I really I think they're very. 
I like that Songmin said that he felt like protected. He with felt Hui. safe with Hui. Yes. Which that's huge. That's very sweet. And it says a lot that like what he's looking for. I think what freaked him out know? was like, I shouldn't feel this about someone who's that much younger than me. But right. like you can. And it's okay. And does yeah. <laughs> I'm I wanna see Young Jin and Myung Kyun. Yeah. Together. I mean, really, I need to, I'd, I'd like I need, to see Hui Sung Min and Jae Sung Min. I mean, I need to see, I need to see, I need actually need to see Jae Sung take control, let's say, of the situation. Mm. I'm going to say that. Dominate the the, ah! the, the situation. Yeah, 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 to feel yeah. like he, I do want to see Young Jin and Myung Kyun at, at the very least figure out what they actually feel about each other. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, chemistry wise, I really... The Hui Jason really got me. Yeah. It really got me to the point where I was like, well, maybe Sungmin can find someone. Else. I really want Hui and Sungmin. That's yeah. my, I just want, I like We being like, he's the one I really like. Yeah. I'm just going to go for it. I want, I want them to be rewarded for what they found very naturally and organically mm -hmm. in the show. Mm -hmm. Imagine, imagine going out with someone that likes museums. I couldn't. You're so annoying. You don't like going to museums. You're so annoying. You do, you do? You're so irritating. No, I love to go to sports. Sports games. That's what I love to do. Well, you never go to museums with me. We did not Drop go. dead. We did not go to a single museum in Seoul. First of all. <laughs> no, we didn't go to a single museum in Seoul. <laughs> Too busy. Uh, but also. Go to um, cafes. We did not date. That's true. Adam and I did not Precursor date. to our relationship. Yes. We, we, <laughs> we did not date. We did not date. Let's say that. Adam and I did not we were date. Friends. Yeah. Yeah. We did go. We, we did. dated by going to rehearsals together for the yeah. musicals we were in. Yeah. <laughs> cool. See ya. Bye.